Hello everyone. My name is Gajendra Deshpande, working as assistant professor in KLS Cooked Institute of Technology, India. Today I'll be delivering a lightning talk on July in education for Generation Z. Now, today we're going to discuss uh, Generation Z, then you can install Julia on Android and about Flogorithm tool. Okay, now let's first uh, discuss who are Generation Z students. So Generation Z students are the students who are born between 1995 and 2010. So they are the next generation uh, college students. So currently attending the uh, college. So an Adobe Education Survey states that the 90% of these students consider technology in the classroom essential to nurture their creativity and prepare them for the future. Now, these are the two digital natives that is from the earliest youth, they have been exposed to the internet and to social networks and other gadgets. They are more tech savvy than they believe in more hands-on learning. Now to train these students or to enhance the learning experience of Generation Z students, teachers need to be equipped with the technology because most of the teachers, they don't belong to Gen Z, they belong to Y or Alpha or other generations. Now, many countries support, uh, many countries have a policy related to BYOD, that is bring your own devices. That means students can get their own devices in the classroom and those can be used for learning. Now in India, uh, Cisco Devnet is working with AICT India to explore the possibility of securing and increasing the productivity of BYOD in the classroom in the schools. Now BYOD has got some advantages, that is the students know their devices, they know that they, it has got many possibilities, it is very cost effective and learning outside the uh, school hours is possible and better organization of the students is possible. Similarly, it has also got its own disadvantages. There may be students with uh, without devices because of their financial conditions, then different devices have different configurations. Then the same device, say for example, mobile can be used or it can be, it can be misused and uh, it may result into not responsible student. Now, you can install Julia on Android, of course, you can also install it on iOS phone. Uh, you can visit the following URL to get the detailed instructions. So in brief, the instructions are install the Termux emulator, Termi Termux, uh, emulator. then you can install Ubuntu on Termux. So there are versions uh, of Ubuntu, then install Julia on top of Ubuntu. Then for better typing experience, you can install Hackers keyboard. Now these are the screenshots from my mobile phone. So this shows how Julia is working perfectly and you can execute some basic programs. So, so the first screen is the Julia prompt. In second screen, we are printing the hello message. In third screen, we are just performing basic arithmetic operations. They are addition and exponentiation. Now in the fourth screen, we are performing basic operation on the list. Then it also supports the uh, text editor called as nano where you can type the program save it and execute it then the next tool we are going to discuss is the flogorithm which is flowchart interpreter which was created by devin cook now what it does is it generates the source code from the uh, flowchart it supports 18 plus languages but it didn't have the support of Julia, so I had developed the support of Julia. So where you can draw the flowchart and you can generate the Julia source code from the flowchart. It is very simple to use, just draw the flowchart, then select the Julia template to generate the code and execute the flowchart to give the result. Now this tool is very helpful for non-native English speakers who are interested to learn the problem solving and programming without to worrying much about the syntax and errors. Now, how I created the tool is Floworhythm supports many template files. So I took one of the template file and edited it. It had several sections. So I had updated the syntax of Julia language in these sections. For example, define the keywords, then define the literals, define the syntax of expressions, then define the intrinsic and extrinsic functions, and also added the syntax of decision making and looping statements and other statements. Then in case of uh, user defined functions or language specific functions, you can add those functions here because it's a generic tool. So it has the uh, facility to add your own functions. 
then flower dam has got its own advantages as well as disadvantages it is very easy to use drag and drop and corresponding code generation is possible it is very beginner friendly and great tool to learn problem solving so disadvantage is that code generation is limited for example two or multi-dimensional arrays are not supported then language specific features are not supported many times so presently no support for indic languages of course it's about multiple languages such as spanish french portuguese etc now this is how it looks on the left hand side you have a flow chart you need to draw the flow chart you need to select a template file and generate the source code so right hand side you can see the source code in julia language now at the bottom you can see the results so this program is for searching for extraterrestrial intelligence now future goals are add indic language support for flogorithm because it enables uh, more students to learn computing or learn programming at the early age then then there's a tool called as blockly by google which can generate the uh, source code from blocks in language such as python or other languages then we can also develop a tool called as code visualization tool where you have a source code and the output will be the graphical visualization of the source code so it just does the opposite of the flow program tool then you can also we can also develop more gamified tools to enhance learning because that will uh, enhance the creativity and learning of generation z students thank you